How you doing everybody? Tim here from the Tactical Defender. And today what I want to show you is my weight bearing belt. I got this from Brown Coat Tactical, Luke and Kayla down in Louisiana. They actually own and run and uh, work at Brown Coat Tactical. They make these belts very, very nice. Weight bearing belts as well as a whole bunch of other stuff. A lot of really cool tactical gear. And uh, you should check them out. As always, their information will be down below. But for a very, very long time, I wore one of these to hold my handgun to hold a multi-tool, a flashlight. When I first got this, it worked, it did the job. Had those for years. And then I discovered, well, these kinds of belts. And uh, have had another one for a very long time. Wanted a black one, I needed a black one for work. And I discovered Brown Coat Tactical, had a nice talk with Luke and Kayla, wonderful, wonderful couple, great family. And uh, this belt, unlike some other belts, this belt is truly made 100% in America. All the parts are from American companies. And it uses the, or they use the Raptor buckle which is actually is from Virginia Beach area here in America. An incredible, incredible strong uh, belt buckle. The belt is perfect. We're gonna take a look at this today. All right, so as I was saying, Luke and Kayla down in Louisiana, uh, they own Brown Coat Tactical. They sent me this belt. Uh, him and I had a talk. I needed a new weight-bearing belt because my uniform at work is, is very dark blue, almost black. And I needed a black belt because my shirt is tucked in. And the problem with my other belt, my other belt was tan and it stuck out and it just kind of drew too much attention. So we had a talk and uh, he sent me this. And and I gotta tell you, I really, really, it's. I mean, obviously, it's it's very stiff. It holds up a lot of weight. And what I really like about it is, is they don't use a very good buckle, the Cobra buckle. I'm not knocking that. It's a fantastic buckle, but it's not from the United States. It's not made here in the United States. Whereas this buckle, called the Raptor, that Luke and Kayla use, it actually is. It is from down in the Virginia, uh, Virginia Beach area. And it's just a fantastic buckle. I do believe it's lighter. It is thinner, so it's less profile, a smaller profile, and uh, and really, really tough. There's a company, an independent company. If you go on to Raptor's, uh, Raptor Buckle's website, there are uh, links. There was an independent study, an independent company that does testing on, on products, if you will. They tested the strength of these Raptor buckles, and they're they're set for something like 2,000 pounds, you know, stre strength before they give or bend. They not only exceeded, they exceeded that, these buckles. They went well beyond that, sometimes over 2,000 pounds of, uh, of you know, pull on, on top of what they're already rated for. Very, very nice buckle. Uh, the, the whole belt is really clean. What I like to say, it's very tight. The ends where, where, they, where they cut the, uh, the nylon is really in good shape. No tearing, no, the threads are really, really nice and neat. There's no loose threads anywhere. And I've been wearing it at work, and I and I kind of have sort of a physical job. I'm bending, picking, carrying stuff, and I never have a problem with the buckle. It never catches anything. And if I do have a tool or something on me, and um, this really takes the weight off me, and uh, I just can't say enough about it. I really, really like it. All right, so for many, many years, as I mentioned before, I wore these leather belts. It's a very thick leather belt. When you first get it, it's real stiff. It, it actually does a decent job. But then over time, it stretches. Over time, a weight-bearing belt that's going to carry a gun, a knife, maybe you're, maybe you're carrying the SC5, one pound, right? Maybe you're carrying that. You need a good belt. This is a good belt. This, not so good. Let's say you are carrying your handgun, right? 
Now when I let go, see, the gun is unloaded by the way. And uh, see, I mean, that, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Now let's take that off. Let's put it on here. Now see, that works, right? You can imagine which one would be more comfortable, right? I can't hold it with one hand. What would be more comfortable, this or this, <laughs> right? Now, nah, I'm pretty sure you understand. That holds the belt, my gun, multi-tool, light, you name it, whatever I need. It holds it very, very well. One of the things that I look for, not only in tactical gear bags, but the but belts as well, or especially, is the sewing. Everybody gets the same nylon. Everybody can get this particular buckle or the Cobra buckle. I really, really like the, uh, the Raptor buckle. Everybody can pretty much get the same exact thread, right? What separates what I believe the men from the boys is the sewing, how they sew. Do they use too much thread, not enough thread? And I can tell you that this is just right. The, the sewing is really, really nice, very neat. I don't have loose threads everywhere and I have seen that, trust me. Uh, the sewing here, it's black on black on black with a black buckle, so you really probably can't see it in the video, but it's very, very nice, very, very neat. All right, everybody, so if you are in the market for a new belt, you need a belt for your concealed carry, you need a belt to carry some tools or something. I know there's a lot of options on the market. I can tell you that Brown Coat Tactical, Luke and Kayla down at Brown Coat Tactical have a fantastic website, great customer service, and his, his work is very, very nice. And uh, this is my first of what will be multiple items from them. We actually talked uh, not too long ago, and I will show this product here when it comes in, but I actually asked them. They do take custom orders. They are building me a custom strap for my camera, sort of a tactical camera strap for my DSLR camera. And um, I had some ideas. I did see a couple on the market. I really wasn't too pleased with the, the finished product. Uh, there was something or one or two things on them that I wanted changed. When I brought it up with Luke and Kayla, we're actually texting back and forth. When he came back to me, he says, don't worry about it, I got you. And he, he, he actually told me there's a couple of things we see we don't like, we're gonna make some changes. And then he told me the price, and the price is phenomenal. I will show that product when I get it. That will, of course, have a review, which, by the way, I am buying that. I am paying for that product. The other thing is, I actually have another product, another a, uh, idea in, in my head that I want custom made. I will be definitely giving them that business as well. So if you're on the market, go check them out. Luke and Kayla, Brown Coat Tactical. I will have all their information in the box below, as always. And uh, Luke and Kayla, thank you so much. This belt is, is awesome. I'm going to have it for a very, very long time probably going to outlive me. And everybody else, I really appreciate you watching this video. Don't forget, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and uh, I always have a lot of photos on uh, Facebook of all my stuff that I have and review and whatever and want to share that with you. Everybody, I appreciate you being a subscriber. Thank you for watching this video. Be well, stay safe. Go get your belt. Go get your belt. Bye.